Alright guys, we are here. We are in Louisville, Kentucky at the Kentucky Exposition Center for the 50th anniversary of the Matt's Truck Show. That's the Mid-America Truck Show. It's hard to believe this has been going on for 50 years and I've never been here yet. You know, I plan on doing a whole little spiel right here, but the wind is a little uh, aggravating at the moment and we're right across here from the airport, so a little bit noisy. So anyway, I see a bunch of trucks parked in the parking lot. We're gonna take a quick look around and we'll be right back. Well guys, I can't be positive, but I think that is Bruce Wilson's truck. Now Bruce Wilson just recently bought a truck from the semi-casual guys and uh, been watching his videos and that looks like it. It's even got the green APU on it, which he just put out a video last week that he, uh, or a few days ago, that he had that put on there. However, that RGN trailer is not his trailer and it's got Texas plates on this. Don't think throw me for loop, but the rest of the truck looks exactly like his. Well guys, it's been a few. Uh, after I took that picture of Bruce Wilson's truck, I, uh, I drove around and did some more filming and whatnot. And as I come back over here, I happened to see somebody in the truck. So I stopped and it was actually Tim Gentry who I've been trying to get a hold of. In fact, I stopped by a shop earlier this morning and had already missed him. Uh, Bruce Wilson was in there and uh, Braxton of course was with Tim. So it's kind of neat to be able to see Tim again and, and meet Bruce for the first time. Unfortunately, I got here just as their Ubers are pulling up to take them someplace. So we didn't really get a chance to talk a whole lot, but we made a point to get together a little bit later. So hopefully that will work out. All right guys, I have actually had a really hard time trying to find a place where I'm somewhat protected by the wind to be able to talk without a bunch of wind noise in the mic. And I think this is about as good as I'm gonna get. So even though we didn't get to hang out real long, it was kind of cool being able to meet Bruce Wilson and uh, and touch base with uh, Gentry again. We do intend to have some more talks in the future about some collaborations and, and further business ongoing. Anyway, guys, I've been driving around the convention center for quite some time. Um, you know, the show doesn't officially start till tomorrow, but you can see out back, they got a lot of the trucks pulled into place for the show and shine. As I drove around the backside where the loading docks are, not a lot in the building yet, but I can see through some of the bay doors, just full of trucks. Inside some of the glass doors over in the main area, you can see all the vendors set up. It's going to be a very interesting show. I took a spin through that parking lot that's about a mile and a half away. That is where I will potentially put Goliath next year in that free parking area because I'm not gonna enter the competition. It's a little pricey to enter the competition here and I know that Goliath is not gonna win any awards so we are not going to do that. But that free parking area over there I think is probably a really cool spot. A lot of people tailgate, hang out. Might be kind of a cool party place, hang out place, get some good footage there as well. But we'll look forward to that till next year. Keep this video short. I am not gonna put in all the footage that I recorded today. Just little bits and pieces. But starting tomorrow, I will most likely do a daily vlog every day that I'm here, 
and then with all the excess footage, I'll put together a few other videos to put out afterwards. But before I go, I've got a question for you. And I want everybody who watches this video to answer this question for me. I was talking with another YouTuber, John, over at Cycle Fanatics, and we were discussing things like the YouTube algorithm. And he thinks that one of the things that may hurt my channel's growth is the fact that we're not a super focused niche. What I mean by that is we've got a lot of motorcycle content. We're at the rallies. We also have the trucking content. Then we have the mechanical content. It has been suggested to me that maybe I split the channels or create a second channel and split it. So one channel will just be Extreme Bikes, The Vendor Life, you know, all the rally stuff that we do. And then we'll have another channel. Maybe we'll call it Night Industries Trucking. I don't know. And that'll have all the trucking content on there. And as far as doing work on Goliath, that could go either way because that's really for extreme bikes, but it's also trucking. So, you know, it could be some gray areas there. Like, I don't know, maybe start a third channel and just call the third one Amsoil Adam. And that could be all of the in-shop repairs and all the other dumb stuff I do, like building fences and bunk beds and stuff that the people that are here for motorcycle content or trucking content may not care about. I know some of you do, but I sure, I'm sure that not everyone does because those videos get a couple hundred views, sometimes a thousand, where Bike Week videos will get anywhere from four to 90,000 views. You guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think I should do. What would make you happy? And guys, for a limited time only, if you subscribe to one channel, you can get the second channel absolutely free. No, I'm just kidding. Subscriptions are free anyways, but there's no downside to it, I don't think, because you can subscribe to all the channels, and if you want to see all the content, you can still see all the content. But at least that way you know if you're going to the Night Industries Trucking Channel, you're going to see trucking related content. If you go to Extreme Bikes, you're going to see the motorcycle related content. Simple as that. So tell me what you think. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. And uh, until the next time I see you, keep those engines running.